For the first time tonight, we are getting a look at some of the items that survived that terrible Beverly Hills Supper Club fire. After all these years, the family has decided to auction them off. They only spoke with Nine on Your Side reporter Tony Moronis about why now is the time to sell. It's a part of Cincinnati history, partying, drinking, and tragedy. 35 years of listening to it every year. And then last year, another book came out. A couple years ago, a book came out. It just gets old. The disastrous Beverly Hills fire was a significant moment for the Schilling family that owned it. Scott Schilling says that the legacy of his dad, though, is way more upbeat. It's bringing the nightclub business to this town, starting to having the biggest clubs, having the best entertainment. Three and a half decades later, he's auctioning off a lot of his dad's belongings. Glassware, furniture, chandeliers, even items that survived the fire. Uh, he had slot machines, this table, a blackjack table. Uh, my father had all these things, but they were locked up in a room that you couldn't get to. How he found the stuff was pretty neat. We well, just happened to find a button and pushed a button and the whole wall opened up. The kind of thing you only see in movies. Yes, looks like James <laughs> Bond stuff. And these two slot machines were behind the wall. Rub it for luck. Stories like that is exactly why Scott kept it. But these were things from Beverly, Lookout House, uh, part, of his, part of his history. A history of a fast-paced lifestyle that Scott and his wife are downsizing from. I think that the, the hardest part for me is to let, to let go. For this son, letting go is a gamble because keeping the stuff has always been a sure thing to remember his dad. Tony Moronis, Nine on Your Side, Villa Hills. All of the items, including the slot machine, the roulette table featured in today's story, are up for that auction. You can find information on how to place a bid at WCPO.com.